now too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and I think they're getting away with it, mm. and they're not. Mm -hmm. And we're, it's not from one source. It's the media. It's the papacy. It's mm -hmm. traditional Christianity. It's politics. But all of them are trying to downcast God in his power. Like, well, he's not. Yeah, he's real, but he's not really real. Mm -hmm. And they've taken him out of the courts. They've taken him out of the schools. And they wonder why everything's falling apart. Mm -hmm. Why the crime is on the rise. Why witchcraft is on the rise. It's being taught in our grade school for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> God's not ignoring all this. He's not up there ignoring it. He's going to come back. And when he comes back, when they finally realize what they've done and who they're having to deal with, they're going to beg for the mountains to hide them. And it's not going to. Amen. I was saying the false, the false problems and preachers in the churches. That's just like when Obama passed the law for gay marriage. Mm -hmm. The highest office in the land. You know what I'm talking about? What we got to look up for? Somebody got to stand up for those people. Amen. You Amen. Know what I'm saying? This vote because of popular. Mm -hmm. I don't see that. Amen. Elder you know, Parkinson. I always smile when I hear they took prayer out of schools and they took. Yeah. As long as they're Christians, mm -hmm. they can't take prayer out of anybody. Mm -hmm. right. They can't take prayer out. Because if children are taught to pray at home, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where they are, they can pray. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a lot of the problems is not the government that did it. It's yeah. starting from the home. Mm -hmm. If children are not taught in the home to pray, mm -hmm. they don't pray anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So they can't take prayer out of school. Because as long as you're a Christian, I don't care where I go. Mm -hmm. I can pray. I can That's pray right. in a restaurant or wherever. A Even if prayer. they don't allow prayer in the place. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because we can pray. So the problem is not... They take prayer out is that individuals have chosen not to communicate with God. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. That's what because in the final analysis, God keeps telling us that this is the temple. So I am responsible right. for whether or not I communicate with God, not with God. Amen. Amen. I mean, what the, final the statement. Found that's happening in a lot of our great schools and high junior high and high schools now. Mm -hmm. Some of the teachers were trying to take the phones away from the kids because they were texting. Mm -hmm. And they found out something. You know what? They, the kids were texting on their phones. Mm -hmm. They were praying mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. on their phones. <laughs> Amen. Praise so, God. So it's like, what the hell is this? You can't. Amen. 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 I, want, I want to actually say this. I say this, you know. Um, this is this is a great study, and um, and this is and we're going to continue. We're going to take it up. Daniel at eight verse fifteen and on. It kind of it kind of just gives us some of the um, some of the uh, interpretation, if I'm not mistaken, of um, of the stuff we actually already studied. Um, and um, we could go through that, but um, um, but that's essentially kind of actually re, re, you know. It's kind of actually telling us exactly who those symbols were. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go on. Can we go on to Daniel 9? Yes. We're going to go on to Daniel chapter 9 for uh, next Wednesday night. We're going to study Daniel 9. This is some good stuff, man. This is some powerful stuff. And, uh, and, and I want to say this. This is what I wanted to, wanted to say. The way it's of exposing error is not just by sharing inf information. Because what they wanted to actually downplay was not just information. They were trying to downplay the ministry of Jesus Christ. So Jesus says, if I be lifted up. Now that's just something, it's not just being uplifted on the cross, but also uplifting him in the what? Heavenly sanctuary. What is he doing right now? We've got to uplift Jesus. Because as we uplift Jesus, then the people who are in darkness can see the light. And the light is not just information. we got to uplift the information, but that information has to be uplifted in the context of Jesus Christ. Sister Young, last, last statement. Yes, you see, uh, we have to lift him up in our lives. Yes. Amen. We are representatives of Christ. Amen. And we have to lift him up in our lives. Amen. And 
best lifting up in our lives. Amen. Can't do that. You know what the I'm, I'm going to have to close it off because of, of time. Uh, but, one, but, more, one more thing. What, I'm going to give you a minute. Give you a minute. The one thing that true, back when we first came, Mom and I first started coming mm -hmm. here, is Jesus said, You will know my people by their love. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's what drew us here. Praise God. Praise God. She's, Mom said, You can see the love of God here. Amen. Amen. She said they may have they have things that they're questioning, but she said they're questioning. Mm -hmm. They're not just saying, okay, what's been handed us from the Catholic Church and other churches is they're going out there and they're digging. Amen, amen, amen. That's what it's all and, about. And having the love of God is, is a, important. Come on, preach it, sister. <laughs> all right. We want to thank you. I'm gonna look at the camera. Thank you for actually tuning in. And we pray that the Lord blesses you. We're going to pray. And we're making this into a TV show. <laughs> we're going to have a my Bible study book from Sister Lenora. Amen. If you want to tune in next week, at Dan uh, we're going to be studying Daniel chapter 9. Uh, you can check it out. We'll put it online. God bless you. And good night. Just young. Daniel, since there's a number of members there, men that are outdated, outnumbering the women for fire violence. You might have to keep <laughs> let's let's bow our heads. Let's. If you've been out, uh, go over here. The women's there says, "Let's let it begin." Let's bow our heads. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you so much, dear God, for the truth. You said we know the truth, and the truth would set us free. And Lord, we know, Lord, the sanctuary has been dirty a long time. It's not because you're a dirty. God is because we're some dirty people. And we've, we've dirtied up the church of God with our false doctrines and our false lives. But dear Father, Lord, we're praying to God that you would help us to allow you to cleanse us so that we don't get kicked out of your church when you cleanse the church and when you cleanse the sanctuary. We don't want to be one of those people that's cut off. But we want to be one of those people that when you come out, Lord, we are clean. Amen. Because we've allowed you to do a work of cleansing in our hearts. So we, we pray like David. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Try us and know our thoughts. See if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you all. God bless. We're going to take up an offering at, at this time.